strong. Hey everyone, how's it going? Kim here, welcome back. Today is a 30 minute AMRAP workout, as many reps or rounds as possible. We have three circuits to get through and each circuit will include some cardio and strength based moves. I'll be using some heavier sets of weights for today's workout and I do have a kettlebell for some swings. However, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can always just use one of your dumbbells. Go ahead, get yourself all set up and when you're ready, we'll get started. Place your hands on your hips. We're gonna warm it up. We're gonna take those hips and reach them out to the side. Shifting your weight from side to side, driving the hips out. Good. And really pushing it out one more time each side. And I'm just gonna take this into a hip circle. So push it out to the side, hinge at the hips, and then push the hips forward. Just take it nice and slow as we warm it up. Get that body moving. Last one and then I'm gonna switch direction. So bring it to the other side, forward, out and back. Great job, let's go one more. And lift it up tall, hinge it forward, stand it up and sit back into a squat. We're gonna do the same thing with the hinge, but this time we're gonna lateral lunge out to the side. Hinge, lateral lunge to the other side. Now back to the squat. So hinge and squat to the lunges, out to the side. Get forward, up, squat time and down, lunge. We're gonna do two more rounds. So back to that squat first, take it down, out to the side. One last time, hinge it forward, squat it down. Good, hinge. You did it. Good, arms up and back. Big breath in and exhale. Get nice and tall right here, reach it. Good, last three, two. I'm gonna go into a front kick right here Touching the toe. Don't worry if you can't get it quite that high. You can just stay a little lower if you need to. You just want to get that stretch in through the back of the thighs. Good, two more. And finally, we're gonna take those arms and reach them to the back wall. Now we're opening up those shoulder blades, stretching out through the back. I'm gonna add a little cardio to this warm up because this is a cardio and strength hit today. So we wanna get that heart rate up. Last four, three, two, and one. We're gonna start with some butt kicks, low impact to start. So you're bringing those heels up to meet your glutes, stretching out the quads. At the count of four, I'm gonna take this into a running butt kick. All right, four, three, two, here we go. And you can add some arms, some easy bicep curls. Good job. Keep that going. We've got 10 seconds and then I'm gonna go jump jacks. All right. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Out to the side. 
Big, big dynamic move. My dog's here to join me today. Three, two, and one. Finally, we're gonna sit into a squat and come up on our toes. All right, lift, activating those calf muscles. We got three, two, and one. All right, we're warmed up, time to get started. So I've set my dumbbells out for my circuit. The first one, we're gonna be doing some pop squats, down and up. Then I'm going heavy weights for some deadlifts. I'm gonna lighten up to some 15s for some thrusters. And then we're gonna do a burpee with a renegade row. I'm gonna walk you through all of these the first round, and then I just want you to go at your own pace. We're gonna go 10, 10, 10, five for our burpees. Okay, we go in four. We're starting with those pop squats. Feel free to take out the jump if you want and just squat. Or you're gonna come down and up. Just 10, three, seven, and 10. Good, right into the deadlifts. So weight, shoulders back, come on down, squeeze through the glutes. Two. Last two. Good. And one. Place those weights down. We're going into a thruster, so weights are at our shoulders. We squat, push. Two. Four. Eight. Nine. 10, next exercise, come on down to the floor, hop it out. You're gonna renegade row one, two, hop it back, overhead, four more. Last one, row, row, hop, and up. Okay, starting from the top with those pop squats. I'm 
wanna say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion, that smile's gonna be the end of me. That smile's that smile's that smile's that smile's gonna be gonna be the end of me. I wanna say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me. something but you are all that i see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me i bet you taste like chocolate can i have it for free i'm an explosion that smile's gonna be the end of me i'm gonna say something but you are all that i see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me i bet you taste like chocolate can i have it for free i'm an explosion and that smile's gonna be the end that smile, that smile, that smile's gonna be the end. I wanna say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. You did it, great job. All right, rest time. We're taking a 45 second recovery right here. Make sure you keep that body moving. Rehydrate, we're moving on to our second circuit. As you can tell, I'm only giving instruction for the first round because after that, my breathing gets too heavy. And trust me, you don't wanna hear that through the screen. So our next four exercises, we're gonna start with a kettlebell row or swing. So I'm picking up my kettlebell, placing it in front of me. If you're using a single dumbbell, you're gonna start with the dumbbell in your hand. All right? And you're just gonna push through the hips. So we're doing 10 kettlebell swings, 10 bent over rows, 10 squat jumps, five push-ups. I'll walk you through the first round. Get yourself set up, here we go. 10 here, one. Good, place the kettlebell down. Grab your weights for your bent over rows. Hinging forward, we've got 10, seven, four, two, one, weights down, squat jumps for 10, down, one, Nice work, down to the floor for push-ups. Five only. Five, four, okay, you've got it. Keep going.
shit like, kick a shit like, kick a shit like Bruce Lee. Kick a shit like, kick a shit like, kick a shit like Bruce Lee. Kick a shit like, kick a shit like, kick a shit like Bruce Lee. Kick a shit like, kick a shit like, kick a shit like. Kick a shit like, kick a shit like, kick a shit like Bruce Lee. Kick a shit like, kick a shit like, kick a shit like Bruce Lee. Kick a shit like, kick a shit like, kick a shit like Bruce Lee. Kick a shit like, kick a shit like, kick a shit like Bruce Lee. Oh, that was a killer one. Take your break. Whew. This workout is no joke. Okay, final circuit. We are going to be starting with some high knees. We're just gonna be using a lighter set of dumbbells for this set. We've just got some bicep curls. Okay, so get yourself set up. If you need longer rest period, pause the video, rest, walk it out, grab your water, do what you need to do. Okay, so we're gonna be starting with some high knees. We're gonna do 10 high knees. Then we're gonna pick up our weights for 10 bicep curls. 10 lunge jumps, then we'll be on the floor for five toe touch to leg raise, so ab move. Like the other two circuits, I'm gonna walk you through the first round. Okay, we're gonna go in three, starting with those high knees. Here we go, one, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab your weights, elbows tucked in, bicep curls, lift. Five more, five, four, two, and one. Lunge jumps, count to 10. So start in the split stance, drop it down, switch. One, two, four, three, two, and one. Down to the floor. You're gonna start with your legs raised. Good, we're gonna to touch the toes. Come on down, back pushes down. Drop the legs, that's a count to one. Four more. Good, that's the first round down. Back to the high knees.
did it oh great work that was so tough oh, how did you do <sighs> let's walk it out bring that heart rate down you worked hard it's time to cool it down so before we stretch let's get that heart rate lowered just walk it around grab your water deep breath in and out Whew. how's a butt kicker Good job. Just shuffle those feet side to side. My dog's being a little sucky today. She broke one of her dew claws. So I had to bandage her up. Side to side, big breath. And exhale, good. Now just rock it side to side. Again, working with your breath. Like I said on the last one, if you need longer to cool down, you can always just pause it. Take as much time as you need. Those are hits, they're hard hits. Inhale the arms up, get nice and tall, and then rotate those wrists and bring the arms down. Good, one more time, reach. And rotate the wrist down. Good, we're gonna take one big breath up. Exhale, sweep the floor with your fingers. One more time, and up, 
Good, place the arms down beside you. We're gonna step back into a low lunge. So our back knee is on the ground. We're pushing that hip down towards the floor. Time to relax. Good, let's add a little twist here. So hand on the floor. We're gonna take the other hand, reach it up towards the ceiling. Spinal twist. Back to center. We're gonna lean back and then straighten out that front leg, pull the toe towards you, getting into the calf, into that hamstring. Get back to center, slide that back knee so it's directly underneath your hip. Tuck the tailbone down. Squeeze your glutes, stretching out that quad. Let's give the arms a stretch here. One arm comes across the body, getting into the shoulder. And get the other side. Good, release the arms down. Switching sides, so back into that low lunge. Push that hip down. right here. Back to center. We're going to lean back, pull that toe towards you. Good. Slide that back knee underneath you. Drop that tailbone, squeeze. All right, bring the arms up. Let's grab onto one elbow and stretch out our triceps. Switch to the other side. And just release the arms down. And one more breath here. And release. Let's come down onto our mat. We're gonna lay back onto our back, get into our inner thighs and open up the hips a bit here. So take your feet together, loop your hands underneath calves and just grab onto your shins. Just relax your head down. Good, this is the best part where you get to lay down. Release one foot down to the floor. Place the other ankle across that knee. First, just to take your hand and push that knee open. So we're opening up into the hip, and then we're gonna pull both knees towards us and stretch out our glutes. down, switch sides. Release both feet down to the floor. Roll yourself over onto one side. Sit yourself up into a cross-legged position. We're gonna take one breath up, one breath out, and that's it. You did a great job. That was a tough workout. If you made it through, congratulations. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. If this is new to you, new workout to you, and you enjoyed it, think about subscribing. I'm getting workouts out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's it for me today. Take care, I'll see you on the next one.